I had some great workouts last week, and I think I know why, and I want to discuss that a little bit today. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. So it's been about a week since I've uh, uploaded a video, and uh, one might think that is an indication of a rough week, but actually it was a very good week, busy week, lot to do week, um, had some good workouts last week. I just didn't record those, and I'll, I'll discuss why as we move along through the the back workout I'm going to show you today. And the back workout's a little bit different. I'll explain that as I go along. Um, but all in all, I uh, got to record it today, so I'm happy about that. Um, it was a good workout. I was happy about that. And uh, feeling good, except for my elbow. Got a little elbow malady going. But everything else, pretty good. So let me show you the back workout I did today, and then we'll catch back up in a few minutes. Wrap it all up. Let's go do it. Okie dokie. So today we're just going to uh, go over my back workout here as I go along. No real specifics on this. Um, and as we do this, I want to talk about my week last week and how that uh, kind of impacted my workouts, if it did at all, but I think it did. Um, so uh, let's start with the back workout. Today I started with some rows. Uh, ordinarily, I would... Uh, include pull-ups in my back workout, but I did not do that today because my left elbow is all jacked up. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but pull-ups really hurt that elbow, uh, as do some some forms of uh, curls and tricep extensions, but uh, these rows didn't impact it too much at all, didn't feel it much at all, so I was glad to get some nice rows in today. And I did not go terribly heavy. I was working around the, the 10 to 12 rep range here. And uh, that's kind of, and here I just uh, went to this T-bar row. I love this machine. Um, yeah, last week on all of my workouts, I kind of deviated from my linear, linear progression strength training approach, which is three sets, five reps, and then jump into some hypertrophy movements of you know, eight to 12 reps. Uh, last week, I, I, I strictly went with the probably more likely is 10 to 12 reps on everything I did on every body part I did. And it was a really great week. Um, so I'm going to consider last week as kind of a deload week. So like for my squats, I deloaded down to like 245, 255. Uh, overhead press, I deloaded down to I think 100, maybe 105. Um, deadlifts, uh, same thing. I was down around, I think I was doing 300 and, and and basically shooting for 10 to 12 reps. Actually, the deadlifts, I think it was closer to 285. Um, but I just did more reps and got more work in. And uh, it really felt good. I liked it. Um, so it leaves me something to consider about how I want to approach my workouts from this point forward. Um, or maybe I'll just consider that a deload week and maybe next week start back with the strength training linear approach and start climbing back up the ladder there again as far as the three sets of five reps at, at a given weight and uh, moving up that way. I'm still not sure, but it was a good workout week using the 10 to 12 rep hypertrophy type approach. Um, here I'm using this hammer strength lat pull or row machine. I'm not really sure what this is, but, uh, again, here I'm using, usually I'd have three plates on each side here, um, and try to, you know, get a good six or seven out of it. But, uh, with two plates, I get a whole lot better control of the movement. Uh, I just feel the exercise is more effective with the lighter weight in the 10 to 12 rep range. And that may be more effective for older guys like myself. Something to consider. And again, I, like I said, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make a decision on this probably next week and uh, see where I go with this. But uh, being as last week was such a good workout week, I might just stick with the higher rep, higher rep type approach. And here I did some uh, lat pull downs with the V-bar. Uh, forgot to record. I did. I did three sets of uh, lat pull downs today, also with a wider grip bar. So I, I did a total of six 
sets of these lat pull downs. I actually did a lot of work today for my back. And uh, as I said earlier, no pull ups. I uh, did not include a single pull up today because my left elbow is uh, just very sore on the inside. It's better today than it was last week this time. I will say that. So it's getting better. I just have to work around it and be careful. But um, next week, um, as I mentioned before, I started um, work again. I, I kind of got lured back into my, my old job as an independent contractor. Um, I promised a year, so I'm going to do that for a year, maybe more, who knows. Uh, but it was a lot, a lot of stuff to do last week, paperwork, onboarding, all that kind of stuff. And it was a little bit overwhelming. I had to do a lot of running around and I think it's starting to settle down a bit, but uh, this week's still going to be a little hairy as far as stuff to do to get my get my work going full steam. But my priority is my workouts. Uh, here's some seated lap pulls. I love my seated lap pulls. Yeah, these are great. Um, yeah, so my priority is always going to be my working out. So that's that's still going to be it. And I'm I. It's, I just find it easier to do a workout without carrying a camera around with me to record the workouts, which kind of goes without saying, I guess. But I like recording the workouts because, I, I, to be honest with you, I love editing these things. I, I love to do this. I love to upload them. I love to talk about it. And, uh, you know, keep in mind that, again, this is just my workout. This is what this guy does, this 61-year-old. And uh, I'm just showing you what I do, and it maybe will help you. I do know what some of the suggestions you guys have given me have helped me. I do know that. And for that, I really appreciate the input. And that's part of the cool thing about this group is, you know, just talk and let everybody know what you're doing, pass along your ideas and how you approach things. And it's a whole lot better than just rambling on about uh, this, that, and the other thing and that fitness circus that's out there on YouTube and Instagram and all that other TikTok and all that other crap. Um, anyway, it was a good workout, and uh, I was happy I got got to record it. And I'm glad you st stuck around with me. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Back workout for May 31st, 2021. Pretty good workout. I enjoyed it. Felt good. Got something done. Uh, I do so appreciate you stopping in with me and hanging out with me today for today's back workout. I appreciate that, and while I'm thinking about it, if you're this far along, hit that like button for me. Click on that like button, and if you haven't already, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. Love to have you join our little exclusive group here, which is growing slowly but surely. It's pretty cool. Last week was a good week for subscriptions, uh, which is kind of weird considering I didn't upload anything for a week. but. Uh, not exactly sure what that means, but it's cool. Um, so, again, thank you. I uh, so appreciate you guys being here and gals. It's really nice. Uh, next week's going to be kind of busy again for work. Uh, I'm going to try to get at least one video out. I'm, I'm shooting for two. And just want to stay in touch, keep up with you guys, get, more, get back on a more regular schedule. And I'm sure I'll be able to do that. Um, so, until next time. Go get them. Mark out.